Let's take a look at different methods of data collection. We'll start by looking at four, explaining what those are, and then we'll look at some examples and see if we can identify the type of data collection or the method that's being used in a situation. All right, so an experiment is where we control something. So we say, all right, this person's going to be given this treatment, and this person's going to be given uh, a placebo or a fake treatment kind of a thing so and we might hear the term a control group uh, that is definitely an experiment when we talk about that so we control something we try something and uh, maybe there's a couple different options and we see which one does uh, better you compare uh, maybe two different uh, detergents for your uh, washing your clothes or something like that. An observational study is where we don't control anything, no control, we're just watching, just observing and seeing what's going on. And the reason and the difference between here, you'd say, well, why don't we just do experiments with everything? Well, some things would be unethical to do an experiment with. For example, how about the effects of secondhand smoke? Do you want to sign up to do an experiment with that where you might be uh, given secondhand smoke? Eh, probably not. And so we look at situations that already exist and then observe and see what happens in those things. So observation no control we're just watching an experiment we control something two different situations a survey of course we're just gonna ask questions about something see what's happening and we can choose lots of different uh, sampling methods to decide who's gonna respond to that survey and then finally a simulation is where we use technology to the word says it to simulate um, something rather than it actually happening and simulations are helpful for making predictions about something that might take way too long to observe in real life um, and also things that uh, are just too big to experiment with for example the weather we use uh, simulations and you hear often they talk about different weather models and how they use those to predict storms so simulations are used very often with uh, weather forecasting so let's take a look at uh, some examples here and see if we can't determine what type of data collection they're using in each of those situations alright first one a researcher records whether drivers come to a complete stop at a stop sign. Okay, so, hmm, are they in control of anything? Are they deciding that the drivers stop? No, definitely not. Um, let's see, observational, no control, just watching. Okay, are they controlling anything? We already said they're not, so there's no control. Are they having any impact? Well, you might argue that when somebody's sitting at a corner <laughs> recording, uh, that might impact whether the drivers stop or not, but who knows, maybe it doesn't. Um, but I think that's looking pretty good. Observational study. Are they asking questions? Nope, they're just observing, and definitely no technology involved there. So this is going to be an observational study that we have going on right here so uh, a big uh, thing that we can uh, focus on to determine is is the researcher in control of something and if they are then it's an experiment if they're not then we're just observing something Okay, second one. Farmer plants two different varieties of corn next to each other in a field. At harvest, they compare the yields to determine which seed is better. Okay, so did they control something? Well, yeah. They picked two different kinds of corn, 
planted them next to each other and then are looking at the results. So it seems like uh, we're looking at an experiment, I think. And often they call those test plots in, in farming. So an observational study, they did control. The farmer controlled what varieties of corn they planted. Nobody's asking any questions, not any computer stuff involved. So this must be an experiment. Next one. We have a medical researcher uses a computer program to predict the spread of a virus in a given population. Okay, as soon as you see technology involved and a computer program, there's a really good chance you're looking at a simulation. And again, this is something that it's too sort of big to really do an experiment with it. Obviously, it would be unethical to sort of just uh, set a virus out and loose and um, just see what happens. We can't do that. No experiments there. And so we can use uh, computer software to do some predictions based on some different parameters and things. How about the last one? Teacher asks students in their class for feedback on an activity they did in class. Okay, asking questions. If there's asking involved, then we're talking about a survey. So, asking questions, a survey. So, several different methods of data collection, uh, an experiment, observational study, survey, simulation. Experiment and observational study are kind of similar. The big difference comes in whether there's control or not. So, in an experiment, we're in control of something. Observational study, we do not control, we're just watching. And a big case when observational studies come into play is when it would just be unethical or just something that you can't control, um, then we're looking at an observational study. A survey is where we're asking questions, and a simulation we use some sort of technology to maybe run something faster than we could just watching it in real time, um, and that allows us to make some predictions like weather forecasts, for example. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math and your data collection. You got this.